Dave in Real Life and this is my weekly wrestling review. Uh, slightly different this week as we've now got uh, NXT on a Tuesday night uh, because of the NBA playoffs. Uh, so it, we're going to be looking at Raw, Impact and NXT this week. Uh, we're going to start off with Monday Night Raw. Uh, started off with a Randy Orton promo. Which is leading to uh, him and Drew McIntyre again, uh, which we do get an interruption by Keith Lee, Keith Lee and Dolph Ziggler, who attacked Keith Lee during this Randy Orton promo. Uh, so Dolph was easily uh, dispatched. Keith Lee makes it to the triple threat. Uh, we moved away. From that to a Mickey James segment where she defeated Natalia and is now number one contender for Asuka's Raw Women's Championship. Uh, not sure when that match is going to go down, but it's really good to see Mickey James uh, back in the title picture. Uh, we've gone to one of the shocking matches on of the night. One what kind of caught people off guard as well, which was the Riot Squad facing the Iconics. Yeah, this was a number one tag team contenders match, but with an added stipulation of the losers split up. Uh, yeah, I think this was told in the uh, pre-show match where they were trying to convince Liv that Ruby wasn't uh, a true partner. And that she would do the dirty on herself. This is kind of like, like, a way of bringing that storyline into this one. Uh, I do believe that Peyton Royce is getting a major push. Uh, so this split needed to happen. I'm not sure this was the way to do it, but yeah, we will see uh, how this all plays out. Uh, we've got Seth Rollins in another qualifying match. Who defeated uh, Dominic? It was meant to be Rey Mysterio, but Dominic took his place. Rey Mysterio got an injury uh, at Payback, uh, no, so he wasn't allowed to compete. So Dominic put, took his place. But before this match, because they lost at Payback, Seth sent Murphy to the back, uh, was disgusted in him. Uh, saw him as a real letdown so don't know what's going to happen between them two uh, so that, that looks like it's going to be interesting Randy Orton had a qualifying match on the show as well he faced Kevin Owens we saw earlier in the show that he had been in the cupboard with <laughs> Alistair Black yeah uh, it he gets Black to help him by attacking Kevin Owens before he gets to the ring. So Randy Orton gets the easy victory there. So that is the main event of the show. Randy Orton, Keith Lee and Seth Rollins. Uh, before we get all to that, we had a Raw Underground segment. Which saw Riddick Moss beat Titus O'Neil. Uh, Yasmin Duke made a debut. Uh, her and Maria Sophia took out some of the enhancement talent. Uh, during this segment, uh, Peyton Rice and Billy Kay turn up. Uh, Peyton grabs Billy, throws her on into the arena, uh, and then Jasmine Duke takes her out with a kick. Uh, yeah, throwing her to the Lions. Yeah, this kind of confirms their split, so to say. So. Yeah, in another bit of that exact same Raw Underground segment was Hurt Business taking on Cedric, Apollo and Ricochet. They absolutely destroyed them. Uh, yeah, Hurt Business really ruled the roast down in the Underground. Uh, we go back to the main show, uh, Street for Profits facing Angel Gaza and Andrade. This ends up in a non-contest as... The, the faction shows up. Yes, it's Retribution. The Retribution show up and uh, cause havoc. Yeah, we go to the main event then. 
which is Mandy Orton beats beats Seth Rollins and Keith Lee in that to prefer and becomes the number one contender for the Raw Championship, which will take place at Clash of Champions. Yeah, over a oh, special mention to our truth who regained his 24-7 championship in a car lot uh, against uh, Tozawa, yeah, his sneak attack. Yeah, this show for me got a 7. Uh, right, we're going to move on now to Super Tuesday. And what a Super Tuesday, because we had an impact facing uh, NXT. We start off with NXT first, and their first match was Breezango and Isaiah Swerve Scott against Legado del Fantasma in a street match. Uh, yeah, Breezango and Isaiah Swerve won this match. No, I uh, thought it was a little bit gimmicky. To be honest, there was the extinguishers going off, fork trucks used. Yeah, uh, if you're going to do a street fight, let's do a street fight. Let's have it in a street. You've got a chance. You don't have to perform in front of a crowd, These, you know, now during this period of time. So let's be creative. Having this kind of match, when you've already got a triple fr uh, a fatal four-way match planned, yeah, just no. <laughs> I did. I did enjoy it. I suppose there were elements to it what were okay, but too gimmicky for me. Uh, yeah, we need a proper street fight going forward. Uh, then we had Candice LeRae beating Casey Canzaro. This was actually a tidy little match. I quite enjoyed this one. Uh, oh, good little uh, did he have a match? I think Casey Canzaro is uh, one, definitely one for the future. I love her style. Uh, the small, small nature of her. Maybe she's a little bit too small. But yeah, big things for her if they can get the push right. Then we go with Timothy Thatcher facing Bronson Reed. Timothy Thatcher gets the shot victory. I would have thought, anybody would have thought that Bronson Reed was going to win this. But uh, Timothy got a little bit of help from Austin Fury. Yeah, that's Austin Fury, not Austin 316. Sorry, but I know you've got that name, but yeah, this is Austin Fury. Uh, yeah, so he got a little bit of help. This is obviously setting up Bronson Reed v Fury going down, further down the line. Then we go to the show's main event, which, yeah, was it? A 60 minute Iron Man match, and yes, this was just how could I say awesome? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Uh, with each one of the wrestlers that mean Finn Balor, Adam Cole, Johnny Gagano, Tomasa Champa all picked up pinfalls. Uh, yeah, it was very brutal in stages, a lot of high spots, lots of uh drop kicks, leg drops and all that kind of stuff. Uh it does finish. There is kind of a result, but we're not crowning a champion on this night. No. Uh Finn Balor scores a pin in the last couple of minutes. Then out of nowhere Adam Cole scores the last pin of the match, causing a draw. So we've got now Finn Balor and Adam Cole. Yeah, they're going to be facing off against each other for Super Tuesday Part 2. Yeah, the search for more views. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, Regal comes down and makes this match up on the spot. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, just feel like a bit cheated, a bit. Because we'd like to watch this thinking we're getting a crowned a new champion, but now we've got to wait until next week. Yeah, fine, you know. Let's get to next week. And already next week looks pretty interesting because during this week's show, we've got Rhea Ripley challenging Mercedes Martinez for a cage match. So that is going to happen next week as well as Finn Balor versus Adam Cole. This show gets a 7.5. Yeah, it were all about the main event. The other matches were basically to fill that first hour. Now we go to Impact. 
That started off with Sammy Callahan and RVD. Uh, Sammy picks up the win in a brutalised match, which you'd expect from these two. There's a lot of uh, history, I would thought, between these. Something to do with your beer bottle being smashed over uh, RVD's head. Uh, Katie Forbes then attacks Sammy Callahan, uh, Callahan and uh, yeah, this ends up in a beatdown with Forbes literally shoving a butt right into Sammy's face. <laughs> uh, several chair shots as well. Uh, we move on to Rhino and Rio Scrum. Uh, Rhino beats him. Uh, he did have hashtag Eve for impact. Sadly, this didn't get Heath a contract, but it didn't mean that Heath wasn't there. He was cleverly disguised as a cameraman and helped Rhino defeat the Rio Scrum. Once it was discovered that it was Heath, he was then run out of the arena by the security staff. Uh, we go to an Askell's beating Ace, Austin and Madman Fulton. Uh, yeah, looked really good, this team. Uh, I was quite surprised they're not really doing much with Austin and Madman Fulton, to be fair. But this is going to set up a match for next week where Motor City Machine Guns came down and you know, issued the challenge at R, you know, let, to let them have another title shot. So we, we are going to get Rascals versus Motor City Machine Guns uh, next week. Uh, we go back to Wrestle House. And we have Taya Valkyrie taking on Rosemary. Rosemary wins this match, but it ends with uh, Johnny E. Bravo, who was, was referee in the match, asking Rosemary to marry him. Yes, there was a wedding proposal during this show. Yeah, uh, I, I've never been really stuck on Wrestle House, but you know, if they're doing matches and they mean something, then fair enough. I'm all aboard. We go to Dana Perrazzo's black tie affair. Yeah, where she's just parading off a championship after winning, becoming the first TNA uh, Iron Woman champion. Well, match winner. Uh, this just had a lot of stuff happening in it. Uh, where uh, John and Grace came down. Uh, but now, the shocking factor is the return of to Neil Dashwood, oh, I hope I'm saying her name right, but yes, yeah, she is back in Impact, and she's made an impact by uh, challenging uh, Dana Perrazzo for a title. Uh, yeah, it's good to see her back on the show. Uh, anybody, everybody else would remember her as Emma in NXT. Uh, yes, yeah, so to Neil Dashwood is back. A uh, bit of a rant now, a uh, bit I didn't like, is what the hell, in the, the end of this, Wrestle House guys just drop in out of absolutely nowhere, what, what the hell, what, how do you explain this, I don't get it, I mean what is Wrestle House, what, what does that mean for that, is that in another plane of existence, I don't, I don't get it, uh, don't, don't do that. Because it kind of gets mixed up with what Wrestle House is meant to be. Yeah, just thought that would dump. Uh, like Kylie Ray, celebrate, you know, having the title and doing a super key. Thought that was really good. But explain it better how they got there into the ring. It just uh, teleporting out of nowhere. Somebody was saying, like, Dragon Ball Z style. No. This is real life, guys. And I should know. Uh, yeah, we go to the night's main event, which literally saves the show after that. Oh, oh I think it's trash, to be, full, to be honest. Eric Young beats Eddie Edwards for the Impact Championship. Yes. Eddie Edwards uh, gets beat. He's now lost his championship to Eric Young in a fairly entertaining match. Uh, yeah, so that is my review of uh, impact this week due to just the wrestle house bit it's getting a 7.5 of gauze for this week uh thank you so much for watching i've been dave in real life you have been awesome
Until the next time, always keep it real. Oh, and please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Do all that good stuff, it really helps me out and lets me know uh, if I'm doing good, basically. So thank you so much. See you later.